everyone. Welcome back. Jordan here, host of the Fitness Business Podcast. If you don't know who I am, if you're new to the show, new to the channel, my wife and I, Erin, built T4E Systems, which is a health coaching company. We built that to about $130,000 to $150,000 a month. We actually sold that business for seven figures. We also own Impact Fitness Coaching Academy. What we do is we help online health and fitness coaches earn more income, create more impact, and ultimately grow their businesses in service of others. And so we've been in this game for a long time. We've worked with over 3,000 clients. And to date, between both of our fitness businesses, we've done almost $30 million in sales. And so what I want to talk to you about today has nothing to do with that. Just if you're new, that's who we are. I want to talk to you about a myth that's often perpetuated within this industry, which is like, you just need one offer. And although there's some truth to that, I'm going to break down what are the three types of offers that you actually should have in your business. This three-part offer structure is really what we use with our, a lot of our clients. It's what we built our business around. And it allows you for a simpler client acquisition model, as well as a way to maximize the amount that clients spend with you, the retention factor. And the more that they spend with you, the longer they stay, the better the results they're going to get too. So it creates this perpetual cycle of increased referrals, increased growth, and just like a less stressful business because you can ultimately have more revenue in your company while working with less clients and less stress. So let's jump in. Again, most gurus will kind of tell you like, hey, you just need one offer and it's really terrible advice. But before I talk about what the three types of offers that you should have, let's jump into what you should not be doing. Okay, so I'm actually going to uh, share a screen here for those who are maybe watching on YouTube. All right, so the old way and what a lot of coaches do who kind of you know, don't know what they're doing and just kind of winging it. Here's typically what we see, right? You have all these different options for your program. You might have group coaching for let's say 199 a month. Maybe you have one-on-one -on -one with nutrition only for 295 a month. Maybe you have nutrition and training as a package for 400. Perhaps you have different check-in options, bi-weekly, weekly, monthly, whatever, all these tiers. And then you also probably are selling, let's say three, six, 12 month options. And so by the time you get to the end of a call or a discussion with a prospect, you throw out all of these options, right? Or even worse, you're presenting all of these options, you know, with pricing on a website or, you know, on your social media, that's an even, even worse mistake. But the reason that this is a problem is because a confused prospect will never buy. And ultimately what you're trying to sell is a end result. And so if you know what the end result is that your client wants to obtain and you present to them a path on how you'll help them get there, then you should just give them the one option that's going to get them to that result, or at least move them closer to that result. Okay. And typically what we recommend, well, before I jump into the three types of offers you should have, your main paid offers, you should only have two that people can pay you for. Number one, your core front end offer, and then resell them back into a back end retention offer. And if you set this up right, and I'll show you the math on this, if you sign just one client per week, you'll add $201,600 of revenue to your business. If you sign two clients a week, you'll add over 400,000. If you sign four clients a week or 12 a month, now you're adding 604,000 to your business. If you're signing 10 plus clients a week, you now have over a million dollar business. So this creates a business that's easier to sell, simpler to deliver, and gets far better results for your clients. You need to have three offers. Okay. Number one, you want to have a free trust building offer. Okay. Number two, you want to have a core front end offer. And then the third is a back end retention offer. So if you're watching on YouTube or whatever, you see here that on the left, we have your free front end offer. So this is a trust building offer. This is where you maybe do a five day challenge once a month, or maybe you do like a free scholarship giveaway. Maybe you do some kind of a low barrier your really easy to fulfill free thing to get results in advance to move people into having more of a relationship and trust with you. And a lot of ways or this should be an offer that's mostly automated, right? It doesn't require a lot of fulfillment capacity. And the goal here is to convert more of your followers and people that just don't know you that well into some kind of a relationship with you. And you launch this, let's say once a quarter. So moving on to your core front end offer. This is where you have an offer that's designed for one person that solves one problem with a unique solution to do so. The goal here is to solve their first major problem in a short time frame because speed equals value. So if you can help them lose their first 10 pounds in the first 90 days, 15 pounds, and get that quick win, then you can ascend them into the more long-term retention and sustainability-based program. So typically you want to price this anywhere between $1,500 and $5,000 between three and six months. I like more of like a three to four month because that's usually when clients start to, you know, start to kind of lose some motivation. They start to lose a little bit of that initial buy-in that they had initially. And this allows you to, as soon as you solve that big major problem and you get them a result, you can then present to them a bigger backend offer. So with the retention offer, this is focused on more of the long-term sustainability things, right? The habits, the mind sh mindset shifts, the identity shifts that have to happen. The goal here is to retain for 18 plus months. And then what you want to do is price this around 20%, roughly less per month than your front end offer. So it becomes like a no brainer for them to continue. So let me show you exactly how this works when it comes to like how many clients you need in order to hit certain revenue goals with this model. This is going to blow
blow your mind. Okay, so let's say you're selling a front end offer for let's just say $1,800 for three months. Okay, that's around $600 a month. Okay, then you would move them into a $400 per month, 12 month offer on the back end. And the thing is, you don't have to convert everybody from that front to your back. In fact, you shouldn't. There are going to be some clients who you just don't love working with. They're a pain in the ass. They're not really sticking to the plan. They're not good long term clients. So you're only going to pitch probably maybe like six or seven out of every 10. And ideally, 50% of your clients will move into this back end offer. And if they convert at 50%, then if you just have literally one client per week that you're adding, you can see here on the sheet, because you're converting at 50%, your average LTV or the amount that a client is spending with you is $3,600. So this adds $201,000 of revenue to your business. Now let's say you're, you double that. You sign two clients a week or eight per month. That'll add $403,000 to your business. Let's say you get all the way up to 16 clients a month, right? Or four per week you now have $806,000 in your business. Or a lot of our clients are signing up to 10 clients per week and converting 50% on the back. In this case, if you're signing 40 a month, you now are adding $2 million of revenue to your business. Okay, that's why this is just so powerful. All right, so a big question that comes up often is like, well, what's the difference between what I'm giving them on the back end versus the front end? Well, let's just break that down. On the front end, the goal here is to give them a defined promise and end result. What is the thing they want? For most people, it's like losing that initial bit of weight, getting a quick result, right? And ultimately from here, you know, a good example could be like our metabolic timing method helps women shed three pant sizes in just 90 days without giving up wine. And you price that between 1500 and 3500 for 90 days and get a result that they want and then resell them into what they need. They need more sustainable approaches. But if you can focus on more of a fast approach in the beginning, you have more trust now to get them to do the more sustainable things at the back. So the goal here is to collect a lot of cash up front, a lot of paid in fulls, a lot of big contracts. That way you can put that cash into scaling your business. So for the back end, and this is where we want to try to stack what's known as monthly recurring revenue. Okay. So what we do is we have a new promise and result solving their new problems, right? The identity shifts, the habits, maybe it's reverse dieting, metabolic building, limiting beliefs and self-sabotage, learning how to coach themselves. Right. And this would be a nine to 12 month contract. And you typically price this anywhere between 20 and 40% less per month than your front end offer. The goal here again is to stack monthly recurring revenue. So why is that important? Well, I'll share that in a second, but if you just look here at some examples from some of our students, right? So Katrina, she signed six new clients this month, but she's collected $25,000 just from back end. Okay. Because with back end, you like for every one client you bring in, it ends up being worth two, three, four. And those people are just resigning. If you have coaches on your team, they're doing the resigns. So it's literally just automated money. Valentine here sold a $7,200 back end contract, collected 2,400. Kelly, or she had a $6,000 day, all from resigns while she was on vacation. Or David here, who you see, you know, he was skeptical and he's like, look, I never did back end offers before. I was terrified. I believe that people would only want to stick around me for like, you know, three months. And he, he did his first round of back end sales with our method and our model. And he went 24 of 26 and contracted an additional $96,000 in back end. Or Vanessa here, who she came to us as a nine to five accountant, hated her job within literally just 90 days. She went full time, did $70,000 in revenue. But the cool thing is here now in 2022, she did 702,000 in revenue. 76% of that was from her back end. Then in 2023, she did over a million and 68% of that was from her back end, right? So, or Bree here, who you can see uses our offer structure with like a front end, a core and a back end. And her five day metabolic challenge is crushing. And it got 20 to 25 new clients just from that challenge. Or Brianna here who did $12,000 in cash and $42,000 in contracted from her scholarship or Lindsay Matthews here who had $179,000 a month, which is a mix between her front end and her back end. So the reason this is so powerful too, is it allows you to stack monthly recurring revenue. So what that means is for your back end, a lot of those will be payment plans and they're longer contracts. So I'm showing you an image here that shows our QuickBooks account. And between all of our programs and stuff, our back end or front end, we have about $448,000 of monthly recurring revenue that will hit this month before we close any additional clients. So if you can set this up in the right way, you'll be profitable each and every month before you even sign new clients. Whereas most coaches, every month, it's kind of like starting over, right? It's like, okay, I had a good month, but now if I don't repeat that, I'm going to be in the red. Instead, if you have these monthly recurring payments coming in from your back end, you can wake up in the morning and just have less stress, right? Because like, hey, if I don't sign a single client, if I decide to go on vacation or just, just step out for a month, I'm still profitable. That's all I wanted to share with you guys today. And hopefully you found a few epiphanies here. And look, if you want to learn more about how this model works and how we can set this up in your own business, if you go to the show notes, there should be a link to our community funnel. That's what we call this. It kind of breaks the whole thing down for you. Okay. So go to the show notes. If you don't see it in there, shoot me a message on Instagram. I'm at Jordan Duggar underscore. Say, hey bro, would love to see that, you know, offer training that you talked about. I'll send it over to you. Anyways, guys, hope you have a great rest of your week and I'll see you on the next show.